Hey, it's Kathy, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on a scruffy kind of messy behemoth up to, which I have got now. Um, to do this hairstyle, you're going to need a lot of bobby pins, um, some cute little like flower clips, um, hairspray, um, and heat protected spray for your hair, and preferably a flat iron. Yeah. Okay, for this kind of hairstyle, you want dry hair and you want it to be brushed and not free. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a parting where you find your ears. And you just want to part all across here and just separate the front from your forehead, part from the back of your head, but you want some hanging down like here but you don't want too much okay so you just grab your hair elastic to find your ear you want to have this like bit on this side just like so thick a bit in the way just like find the creasing just do like so having this longer bit on this side and I'm just going to tie it up for the moment. Like so. Okay, with this bit here, the long bit, um, you get it like just above your ear. So it's like that. And we're going to plait this and to make the hairband that goes across like that. Okay, so you just start plaiting. Like... You normally would just going outwards. Okay, so once you've finished plaiting that, you should have this like really cool kind of plait, not too thick, not too thin. And once you've finished it, um, I'm just going to use like a normal hair elastic because I tend to find they work better. But if you've got a small, like really small hair elastic, use that. You just want to tie it at the end. Don't worry, you won't see the hair elastic when we're finished. Just going to tie it like so. And then just reach across your head and see how we parted it there. Just want to place it there and bobby pin it across your head like that. So I'm just going to grab bobby pin and in that there. We just want in that the head band piece and yeah it looks like it's got a bold spot but that's just creasing and we'll cover that and we'll cover that later. So we've got that like so. so once we've done the plait we're going to move on to this back section. You just want to take that out and just to make it easier you want to once again part where you've in the bottom of your ear you just want to part across here taking this top section up and leaving the bottom of your hair like so and then you just want to grab the bottom of your hair over to the side by pulling this bit here and just tie the bottom of your hair up and it will make this a lot easier so it just loosely doesn't have to be too tight okay for the top bit of our hair what we're going to do is you just want to spray your hair so it's easy to handle spray your hair so it's like more easy to handle and sorry my friend just getting like a stamp in the back and you just want to get this top bit where the little plait goes across here I'm not so sure if you can see and you just want to get this top bit and just grabbing your hair you just want to make kind of a little quiff like so just puff it out and bobby pin it in place like so and we're going to do that all around the little hip band thing so we're doing it here as well you just want to do it messy because it tends to have a better effect than it's like 
perfect. You just keep doing this all around your head on this side as well. because you want to get the messy effect so you just grab kind of a twist like loosely and then you just grab it and then you just like pin it randomly in the back but make sure it's secure and work for that and that one wasn't really secure <laughs> but you just like double up and wobbly pins if you have to and for that and I'm just going to keep doing that with the rest of this hair here 